Okay, this is just a really quick follow-up. <laughs> I've had a bunch of people ask me, uh, um, they've seen the videos I did on some of these little amplifier modules you can get really cheap on eBay and other places online, you know, Alibaba, probably Amazon, you know, they're all over the place. But, uh, these are, of course, made in China. They're cheap. That's kind of why I was showing them, because it's a cheap way to get a, a small wideband amplifier without having to spend huge amounts of money. Um, and they work. You know, this little this little critter here, the only thing I've done to this is added a header pin to it and stuck a piece of large heat shrink tubing around it um, just to you know, kind of isolate it so nothing can short out against it. But, uh, you know, like this one was great for, you know, you can attach this, you know, attach a oscilloscope probe to one end of it, uh, you know, so if you're having problems trying, um, using like a, let's say your frequency counter, you don't have, the signal level isn't high enough for your frequency counter to read the frequency that you're trying to read, a little critter like this comes in handy. Uh, but the question I've been getting is, is there something better? Well, yes, there, there is. There's, I mean, obviously if the Chinese are making a cheap version, obviously there is something better out there. Now... Of course, on the extreme high end of the spectrum, which you're getting into multiple thousands of dollars, you end up with something like that right there, which is a laboratory amplifier. It has a very flat frequency response over a large range, and has a very large amplification factor. But for the kind of stuff you're doing where you're using, you just want to amplify small signals for testing, you don't need something like that. The only reason I have that uh, is not for attaching it to test equipment that'll blow the front honestly would blow the front end out of most of the test equipment because that thing can do several watts um i have that for if i want to run a signal out of let's say a you know, communications test set which i'm using it let's say as a signal generator but i want to bump that signal up that level up to several watts because i want to test another device that needs a, a very high level of power um but, you know, they make those things in all different types of sizes. But these are basically copies, more or less, of these. <laughs> now these, I have probably over a dozen of these. And I have not just this model. I have several different models. It's made by mini circuits. And it is basically exactly the same as these. It's just the only difference is this is an extremely high quality when built by a quality manufacturer. Mini circuits. They make extremely high-end equipment. Uh, well, not so much equipment, but products. They have VCOs. They have. They make dummy loads. Anything in the RF spectrum, small small signal amplifier modules, stuff like that. That's which is what this is. It even says right on there. It's a 0.1 to one mega or one gigahertz or 1,000 megahertz amplifier. But it's a small signal amplifier. Basically, exactly the same as this. Just comes in its own little box because this is also uh, acts as the heat sink for it, but it does the exact same thing. So, you know, if you do want, if you know, you have one of these and maybe you want to upgrade, because that's what people have been asking me, is there something better I can get than this? You know, so, you know they want to step up their game. Yeah, just pick up one of these. Now, you, you don't even have to buy, now these are not what I would call unreasonably expensive. Actually, most mini circuits products, um, are, are reasonably priced for the quality that you're getting. Now it is a lot more expensive than this, but the advantage, one big advantage, again, the internet and more specifically eBay, you can pick up little guys like this relatively cheap. Now, even used, it's probably going to cost you more than one of these costs brand new. But still, as long as the seller guarantees that it works, and in a lot of cases you can get them. I mean, like this one, I got this one. It was still in the package. <laughs> You know, there, it was well taken care of. It may have never been used, for all I know. But, actually, let me just grab a screwdriver. And I'll show you, actually, what's inside of it. To show you, it's basically the same thing as the other one back there. Like I say, the only real difference is build quality. You get what you pay for. And, obviously, you're getting more here, because, for starters, it's in a machined, you know... Well, actually, the top and bottom covers are extruded aluminum, but you know, a high-quality aluminum enclosure, which is nice for starters, and of course has two other holes. Then you could mount this to something. But again, basically, just like this one. Now, of course, I've got the heat shrink tubing on here. It's kind of hard to see, but still has a little amplifier transistor on there. 
basically the same thing. They're doing more or less the same thing. This one's just going to be a little bit more well designed using higher quality components in a good high quality enclosure. You can see the board, you know, it has a top and bottom cover, but the board actually touches this aluminum. Like I say, they're actually using this enclosure as a heat sink. But yeah, you know, there's there's a better view of it, the interior. But you can see basically the same thing. You know, more or less, it just has more parts on it, like I say, because it is a, a more well-designed unit. So, you know, basically, money no, you know, expense was no object. But still, they don't overcharge for these things. And like I say, very, very cheap to get online. Um, now, the only thing is where this one just had solder pads, just much like this bigger one here that had solder pads. This one, I added a power cord to it with a double banana plug just to power it up. Um, this one here, I just added a little 90 degree header socket where I can just plug a cord onto it. Where the ones from mini circuits, they'll usually have, and not just mini circuits, actually from a lot of other manufacturers, you'll see they'll have posts sticking out the side of them. And I think that's kind of what scares people away. They don't know what these funny looking posts are. That's the ground in the power. That, that's all that is. <laughs> it's just, it's, 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 that's literally, that's all that is. The ground terminal and the voltage source. So yeah, there's nothing special about these. There's no mystery science going on in here. They're doing the same thing that the Chinese have basically just copied, you know, in larger form, you know, larger or, you know, basically the same thing. But yeah, so if if you want to get something like that or you already have one and you basically want to buy a better one, um, something where, for starters, you can get a data sheet, and that's the, the big advantage of mini circuits. Um, I like mini circuits because they have data sheets for everything that they have. doesn't matter if it's a dummy load or an amplifier like this. Um, it can be a power splitter, power combiners, you pretty much name it. They have a data sheet, you know, with specifications that will tell you exactly what the usable frequency range is. What's the attenue? You know, if it's a power splitter or something, it will, you know, what its frequency response is. You know, I use lots of mini circuit products. I've got, you know, there's two mini circuit uh, power combiners right there where I can take two signals, put them into that, and it combines and then comes out there, or vice versa. I can put a signal in there you know, with one BNC cable and then have two outputs and it will evenly, now it's, those are what are known as 3 dB power combiner splitters, but, so you always have a 3 dB loss, but then I can hook up two instruments to one source. So, you know, if I was probing, let's say actually, you know, in this radio that I'm currently working on, I could hook up something in here, run it up to that splitter combiner to the center port, and then the two out ports, I could run, let's say, one to an oscilloscope and one to a spectrum analyzer or one to a spectrum analyzer and the other cable up to a, you know, a frequency counter or something else. But yeah, mini circuits make really good products, uh, very easy to find, um, very well known in you know in the RF industry, they're kind of one of the one of the standards. Them and what Pastor Pasternick um, is another one. I've got I've got catalogs from a lot of these companies. But yeah, so that's all this video is. If you have one of these or you were thinking of getting one, but you kind of scared you away because you know I said yeah, it's made in China, and that does scare some people away. Now I've used this little guy, and honestly, this one worked fine. But if you want to up your game, let's get something from Mini Circuits. Um, now, like I say, this one, they come in different models, lots, actually lots of different models. Uh, this one's the model ZFL-1000LN. You can get these in lots of different versions. Um, they'll have different frequency ranges. They also have different amplification factors. You can get them, um, I think they also have different input-output impedance. Now, of course, for pretty much everything you'll ever see on my bench, it's going to be 50-ohm. That's pretty much the standard for radios. Most test equipment has 50-ohm uh, you know, terminations or impedance, uh, which is what this is. But I think mini circuits might also have 75-ohm ones because they also deal with uh, some video type equipment, but yeah, it's just something to be aware of. So you just go to the Mini Circuits website. It's real simple. As a matter of fact, their website's right there on the sticker. We get it to focus. Minicircuits.com. So, yes, yeah, just go to their website. Um, you know, you can look up little amplifiers, pull the, you know, bring the page up on these amplifiers, and there's a huge chart. They make a boatload of these things. Just go down through that, find the frequency range that you want to use with the approximately the amplification factor that you want, operating at the voltage, you know, because you can get them in different voltages as well, in the approximately in whatever voltage you want, 
and there you can get yourself a, a nice little and it's already in an aluminum enclosure good high quality components you know and properly taken care of as long as you don't overload these things or over volt them it probably outlasts your lifetime you know and mine so you know, these work fine there's nothing wrong with these don't be scared away because they're made in china but uh the, the one thing the one thing i don't like about these is if you don't put a piece of heat shrink tubing over it or something, or like this one here, you know, it's got the heat sink built into it. But the problem is, what happens if I accidentally do something like that? Drop a screwdriver on it, or a screw, or anything. You know, a connector. I'm, I had the, the cable with the SMA connector in my hand, and I accidentally drop it, and this thing's turned on, and I short something out. Yeah, you let the magic smoke out. That's the one advantage of the mini circuits. They, they come enclosed in an aluminum housing. Um, and like I say, they usually pretty much all the all the mini circuit stuff. Um, even if it doesn't have, they'll have optional. Just like with the power splitter combiners, um, these have an option. The option is the mounting flange. So it just it's just a piece of I mean, it's nothing fancy. It's literally just a piece of flat aluminum with some pre-drilled holes in it. But you can get mounting brackets like that for them. So there you go. Just a quick follow up. Like I said, I've been getting a lot of questions about these little things. People that have gotten them and said they like them and they're using them. And man, I can, you know, I'm now using my frequency counter and I can measure stuff that I could never measure before because the signal was too low. Um, so, you know, if you have something like that and you want to, you know, and that's the, like I say, the main question was, is there something better? Yes, there's always something better. And there it is. Mini Circuits is one brand I know of. I, I have dozens of their products like i say i've got over a dozen of their little amplifier modules and different frequency ranges and different gains um, and they work just great so there you go like i say just a quick follow-up so people wanted to know now you know